this, and you go out in the yard, get some firecrackers. <laughs> I don't think that's, that's a good move. The that's not safe. You're getting, you're sending the baby out into the yard with firecrackers. They ain't lit. Oh, all right, good enough. All right, the sass. What's your pick in that game? Uh, this is my one gut pick. It's the Bills. Wow. I don't know why. I know it's flying in the face of logic. I take the Bills. All right, Patriots are at home giving nine and a half to the Titans. That's the one my gut tells me. Take the Titans there. The Patriots, their thing, I, I know I've made this point before. I'll continue to make it until they prove me wrong on this. The, you know, we all think about the 2007 Patriots and how they blew a lot of teams out, but the the way of the 21st century Patriots is that they do just enough to beat lousy teams. Nine and a half is a lot to be given there. I'm going with the Patriots, though, because Brady, when he does hit his stride, it will be uh, it, 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 it will be a celebration, and they'll win by five touchdowns. Maybe this is the week that we see that. So I'm taking the the Patriots at home. What do you say there, the Ed? I told you a long time ago that the Tom Brady will never win another Super Bowl again. He's never won without Adam Vinatieri. It's like Kobe and Shaq. He cannot. He cannot do it. He cannot do it. That's a that's a pretty good analogy. The one of or you know the one a uh, greatest um, uh, off guards in NBA history and one of the most dominant centers. And you're talking about quarterback and a kicker. They're they're like Listen, Kobe and Shaq. If you go back to the Patriots Super Bowls, Tom Brady didn't do nothing. All he did is get him in field goal position. Joe Montana gets touchdown. This kid Tom Brady gets down so. Then a Terry can kick a field goal and win it. Well, I, I remember the Super yeah, Bowls true. a little bit differently. I, oh, I seem to recall him throwing some touchdown passes in there, no, too. No, no, no. To win, I said to win the game. To right. win the game. Yeah. Well, all right. And so, and listen, but now you're seeing that this Tom Brady character, he can't get it done. He's been He's exposed. Over. He don't, the, the story's over with this kid. All right. He won't ever be the same. So I say Patriots 36, Titans 13. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, good pick. So you are taking the uh, Patriots minus nine and a half, and quite a few more there. The Sass. Yeah. Uh, I think Tom Brady has a big day, and the uh, Titans cornerbacks can't handle the Patriots wide receivers. Patriots win big. Falcons are at home. This year should be a great game, actually. The Falcons at home against the Bears. Here's what we're talking about again: teams coming out of their bye week. The Bears plus three and a half on the road. My gut tells me that the Falcons are, are the better team, but I'm going to try to follow this trend there. I'm going to take the Bears plus three and a half. How say you, the Sass? I go Falcons. They're going to run, 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 run. All right. Michael and the Turner. Well, you know, I don't think much about these Bears. I don't think nothing of them. Mm-hmm. I don't like their quarterback. He's overrated. They dog Rex Grossman. They dog Kyle Orton. You see, Kyle Orton got the Broncos undefeated. Rex Grossman got the Bears at the Super Bowl, but yet they don't want neither of those quarterbacks. So I say Falcons, 24, Bears, 18. Six field goals for that Robbie Gold. Oh, wow. It's a, you really, I like your, the specificity of your picks there, the Ed. I like that word. Can right. I borrow it? Sure, use it. Try it right now. Give it a test run. Say it again. Specificity. Specificity. Yep, you got it. Oh, that start with an R. Hold on. R O F C L. I don't think. You, well, you got. Yeah, there is an F in there and a Y. All right, San Diego Chargers on Monday night. Another good game. Chargers hosting the undefeated Broncos. Chargers giving four and a half. I refuse to buy into the Broncos. I still say they're not going to the playoffs. The Chargers will win that division just like they did last year. They will now begin their reel-in process on uh, on Monday night. Chargers minus the four and a half. How say you, the Ed? Well, you know, last year the Denver Broncos didn't they start off the season pretty good last year too? That's what I just was uh, at least insinuating. Yeah. Yeah, they was four like four and oh, four and one. But listen, the Chargers, if they would have listened before. I told him he traded the wrong person. He was supposed to but then Thompson. Get mm-hmm. rid of him and keep the Michael Turner. But they ain't listen. I even called to their box office and told them. Yeah, I remember you told me about that. Lady, she didn't even do nothing about it. Yeah, yeah. That's a, it's a lack of respect. Yeah. 
But I say the Broncos lose this one, 24 to 21 to the Chargers. So you so you like them to lose, but uh, to cover the, the, the they'll be uh, better than the plus four and a half. The sacks. Yeah, three three games like that, 78 percent of the time this week. I'm with you, Dave. I don't like Denver. I don't believe in Denver, and I cannot possibly pick Denver while I hate on them daily. So Can I say I'm one more thing, too? Yeah, to well, that's partially because you're a Raiders fan. But, uh, I, you know, the other thing is a lot of people have asked, Dave, why aren't you – you really didn't destroy the Broncos for their uniforms. I don't – I didn't hate them. You know, I just didn't think they were that bad. I thought the neon green of the Seahawks – a few weeks ago was much more offensive to my eyes. I, I like that brown and and gold. It looks like the the uh, Padres of the early seventies. You know, Dave like Winfield and company. Howdy. I want to get some of those socks. Though. Ooh, I wish I could get you some and send them out to you. Yeah. If you ever win a prize, I, I will. You and would. Listen, to this. I, uh oh, breaking news! It says that. Oh wait a minute. The little boy that was flying that little plane was actually on his way to the Charger Bronco game to fly in at halftime. <laughs> wow, breaking news. I'm glad we could that we could share that here on the podcast. All right, so we're all in on our picks. We're all locked in. Our college picks are available for you at 710ESPN.com, the Dan Mishek homepage, the Ed. Enjoy the weekend of football, college and pro, all right? Yeah, I'm going to. I'm probably going to win a whole bunch of money. I'm planning on I'm planning on not losing that one game this weekend. That's a that's a dynamite plan. You know, I wish I would have thought to make yeah. a similar plan. I'll, all right, I'll be happy if I just lose yeah, one or grill, two. My grill broke. Oh no! So is the barbecue yeah. off? Yeah. All right. So so uh, I thought we had tentatively talked about uh, January second for our next uh, barbecue. I don't know if it'll be up and running by then. Uh, well. Good luck. Hopefully, if you go undefeated, you'll have money to fix it. You could pitch in on a new grill. No. The grill I want, I seen a grill over there, the the Home and Decker place. Home and. Home Depot? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's uh, $2,945 for this grill. Good luck with that. If you you go undefeated, that should be no problem to to pay for that grill. Give me that $1,500 you owe me. I don't owe you a dime. Yes, you do. We've got it on tape. No, nope, there was never a promise of $1,500. There was never a promise of $2. No money was ever promised to you by me. We are, Listen, we already know. And right. you already know. And then the people on Jeopardy, they already know. Mm-hmm. They got to know. But it doesn't even matter. Because I was watching that show the other day, <laughs> and I got every single question right. Wow, and, you did. And I sent a letter to the people at Jeopardy. And said, can I get my money because I beat the guy who won and he got like $14,000. And I calculated I'd have had $32,000. All I wanted was a check. And I ain't heard nothing back from him yet. Well, I hope that resolves itself. In the meantime, good luck with the grieving process. Grieving? Yeah. I don't have no grievance. No, the Just grieving. You're, you're sad. You're mourning the loss of the of the person who was cooking for you. No, she died a couple of days ago. Right, yeah, we, we that's where we started. It wasn't off. in the morning, it was in the afternoon. It's about 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All I, right, listen. He told me. The Ed, have a I great... I over there, he uh-huh. told me what happened. And then I said, is it on the news? He said, no, he didn't know, know if it was or not. Yeah. They put that bubble key on the news, though. He was on there all that Mr. Steve Wilkos said. Right, we talked about that, too, already. I think we've covered yeah. everything we need to cover today, as a matter of fact. And then the Dodgers, no, we didn't talk about baseball. All right, well, we don't have time for the Dodgers and everything. We'll do that at a later date, all right? The Dodgers are going to play the Yankees in the World Series. I, I Listen, I'd love to see it. I, I just wrote about that on uh, page two. I'd love to see that matchup. That's a great, uh, that'd be a great classic World Series to see Joe Torre go against his old team, Dodgers and Yankees, renewing that great rivalry, so on and so forth. Hey, you listen, the internet, you got an internet site. I do. I think you know that. I, I just mentioned it, actually. What is it? 710ESPN.com. Look for the Damashek homepage. I'll look for it. I probably can't find it, but I'll look for it and see if I can find it. And then I'll, you know, read what you, what, what you wrote. Right. What you and, write. And I'll do the same at the Ed's Super Deluxe website.com. All right? Done and done. Want me to say something else? Nope. Just say goodbye. Listen. No, that's that's not the what we just talked about you doing. 
all right, I got to go anyway. I go get one of those flu shots probably. Yeah, well, I, well, get a flu shot and also maybe take the baby out of the yard with the fire. talking about you get a free flu shot with every time you go get Botox. All right, I, I don't know what you're talking about. That's just uh, that's just absurd. All right, listen, the Ed, we'll talk to you later on, all right?